Today I'm here to do invisible locks as you guys can see this style is like the cutest style and I've been seeing it all over my for you I didn't think that I would be able to do it this is my first time doing it and you guys like I don't know how to braid or anything like I know how to do the bare minimum when it comes to like braiding and doing these type of styles but this style was fairly easy I would say it was extremely tedious and the back, Lord, the back was problems. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link the girl below that showed me like a different method. Like it was like a braiding and then like crocheting method. I'm gonna link that because I didn't record me doing the back because the back was just, it was too much. But what I did to help combat that is once I did three rows in the back, I began to start doing the front of my hair. As you guys can see, the front of my hair is popping. Like, it's giving the girls what it needs to give. And how I got all of them to look like this is after three rows, I parted it back, like, horizontally. And then I just did it that way. So then I just did, like, three parts all the way going back. So that helped a lot when it came to like having it look neat and getting the look that you want to get. I do have some tips and tricks so you guys are going to have to continue to watch. And you know, of course, if you watched my videos before or this is your first time, I show everything in the video from me parting, styling, down to the baby hairs, and even installing this cute little seashell, which I just thought just made the look like give a little bit more. I might add some more. I don't know. I'm on the fence, but... Yeah, I show everything in the video, so if you guys want to get this look, which I think it's a pretty cute look, like, it's it's giving, it's giving. Let me show you guys the back, too. Not so much in the back, though, if it's not looking hot. Um, But yeah, if you guys want to get this look, continue watching. Bye! Hey, y'all, hey! Thank you for continuing to watch. Um, right now I did already a decent portion of my hair. I wanted to show you guys how it looked in the front because I feel like that would just be easier visually to understand what I'm doing. So first things first, to combat not being able to see the back of your head, I recommend only doing three rows max. Um, the best way to do it would be that braid and then crocheting method that I was talking to you guys about Just because the part does show easier. I'm gonna link that girl down below She does a phenomenal job of showing what I'm talking about After that I do recommend doing the hair vertically in rows just because it helps a lot with how neat it looks and the party So as you guys are seeing, what I did is I parted out the hair that I'm going to use my own hair. I used a bunch of jam and then a little bit of wax just to slick everything in place. And then after that, I part the hair down the middle and then I used some jam in the part just to make sure that it's looking crisp. And I twist the hair in the direction opposite of where I'm going to twist it when I have the Marley hair. I hope that makes sense. So right now I'm twisting towards the front. Then I'm gonna pin it into place, get the Marley hair, which I got from Toy Tress. Oh my God, that hair is beautiful. It comes with a pack of eight, and I only used about six, so I recommend it, and it was for the low. But twist the hair into place after you twist it to the front. And after that, I'm gonna come back in when I'm doing it, because I feel like it'll be easier to explain when I'm also showing it. So I'm just using two strands of the Marley Twist and then any type of gel. Eco would do. And then after that, I'm going to get my hair ready. I'm going to take it out of the pins. And then I'm going to twist it to make sure it's tight. And then I'm going to go in and then twist it in the opposite direction. So you guys are going to see right now. I'm going to show how it looks. So twisting it to make sure it's tight. And then I'm going to take it and then twist it in the other direction. 
So I'm going to twist it like a good two times, two to three times before I add in the Marley twist. So I'm going to twist it towards the front. And then once it's twisted in together, I'm going to start twisting them both towards the back to get the style that I'm trying to get. I hope that makes sense. I hope the visual shows what I'm trying to say. All right, so how I'm gonna finish off every twist is I'm going to take a brush and brush out the ending of the Marley twist. And then I'm gonna cut it. The cutting it helps so much. I don't feel like any of the girlies show that you're supposed to cut the hair after, but cutting it down to a nice size would make that barrel that you're gonna do towards the ending come out really nice. And I didn't want anything too thick. So after you cut it, you're gonna twist it up like what I'm showing, or if I'm not showing it, then I might have a better clip coming towards the ending. But you're gonna twist it up and then you're just gonna wrap it. Wrap it around the lock. Wrap it around. After that, you're gonna get a rubber band or two and then just have it stay on the twist. So it just holds everything into place and then you're just gonna wanna rub it with your hand, which helps a lot with like matting it into place. So I wanted to do an angled bob. I don't know where I was getting this idea from. I think it was from Callie. If you don't know her, then y'all should go check her music out. But I wanted to do like an angled bob. So what I did is I made sure I parted my hair on a side part. Once I finished with one side, I went over to the other side. And this was my shorter side that I'm showing you guys. First, for both sides, you're going to want to make sure that you take out the edges that you're going to want to use for like styling purposes. After that, not much really changes. That's why I said it's fairly easy because it's just repetitive. But that twisting process, that's going to get you caught up. So I recommend the vertical row method. I did about 10 vertical rows. Twist them all to the front initially then twist them all going back it's gonna help a lot more with the confusion because you know which way you're supposed to twist it versus if you did it like horizontally twisting it kind of gets a little confusing but i'm gonna stop talking i'm gonna let you guys see what i'm doing if there's anything that i'm doing differently from what i did in the first half then i'll pop back in but i'm just showing you guys so you guys have more of an understanding of what i'm doing i'm outside and i I believe that all of your dreams 
all right so this right here is the last row after i did all my vertical rows i think it came down to about 10 completely and it helped out a lot because i did it vertically all the way back to a little bit more than the middle of my head so most of my hair did come out looking pretty neat and put together I'm gonna show you guys a trick right now that really helped with getting that retwist lock sort of look. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure I part my hair, and after I part it, I put the jam down it, and then I kind of slick it to each side like slick the parts away from each other you're gonna see towards the ending why i do that and why it's gonna come full circle and give the look really and truly what it needed to give Yeah. Yeah. Hey, feeling young, but they treat me like the OG. And they want the tea on me, I swear these bitches nosy. Said he put some money on my head, I guess we gon' see. I won't put no money on his head, my niggas owe me. I gotta be single for a while, you can't control me. Who no those traits in a race, they can't hold me. And I show my face in a case, so you know it's me. Imitation is a flattery, it's just annoying me. And I'm too about it. And the dirt that they do on my name turn to soil, and I grew about it. Time for y'all to figure out what y'all gon' do about it. Big wheels keep rolling, rolling. I'm outside, 29, G5, Seaside. I've been losing friends and finding peace. But honestly, that sounds like a fair trade to me if I ever heard one, and I'm still here outside. I've been losing friends and finding peace Honestly, that sound like a fair trade to me Look, don't invite me over here if you throw another pretty party Looking back, it's hard to tell you where I started I don't know So after that sleek little barrel technique that I showed you guys earlier in the video What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my rat tail comb and basically go back down into that part that I showed you guys earlier where I put jam through and then slick each part back into place I feel like that helped a lot because when it comes to the twisting process, you kind of twist them everything together. 
and when you define your part earlier it just makes it easier for you to go back in and redefine your part and it helps a lot with the fresh retwist look So now y'all know, of course, when it comes to the baby hairs, you want to make sure if you're going to put any heat on it, put heat protected. After that, I put my um, hair straightener on like 250 and I just added a little bit of curls. Did I need curls on that side with the bang? Probably not because honestly, I didn't even go in with any gel. And then of course, you know, when it comes to like the gelling it down, all I do is use the edge booster in the red container and then a little bit of black got to be glue just to hold everything into place. And that is it. When it came to the shells, I made sure I did purchase shells that had the hoops with them. What I did is I just took a rubber band and I looped it in with the hoop. And then after that, I just slid it up the twist. And that is pretty much it, you guys. If you watch the whole thing, I love you times 10. This hairstyle was super cute. I got so many compliments when I went to the airport. Like, it was definitely given what it needed to give. And it's a week later and it's still looking pretty good to me. Everything is still locked into place. All I got to do is just my edges. But that is it. I'll catch you guys in the next one.